So I remember reading the diary of Anne Frank as a kid in school, and now actress actress Billy Boulay is playing her in National Geographic's A Small Light. Thanks for joining me, Billy. Thank you so much. So for those who aren't aware of the show, what is A Small Light about? A Small Light is about Meet Geese, who is the woman who hid the Frank family and the Van Pelsen Dr. Pfeffer in uh, the annex. And she was um, working with Otto at the time, so they were friends or colleagues at that point, and Otto went to her for help. What was it like, uh, the casting process, finding out the role, and did you know this is exactly what you wanted to do? So for the process, I started auditioning as Margot, actually. Okay. Um, I did a couple rounds for her, not, not many rounds, until I got a call um, from my agent saying that um, Nat Geo and Disney wanted me to audition for Anne, and then I did... I think four rounds of being Anne and uh, did the chemistry read with Ashley, which was great. And then three days later, I found out that I got the role, which was amazing. And then later on, I found out that during that audition time for Anne, I was the only one that was up for it, um, which I had no clue about. Um, And then, yeah, if this is always what I wanted to to do to, to be here and like, doing a small light, definitely when I got the scripts, I wanted to do it. I mean, the scripts were amazing. The writing was incredible. I enjoyed every single aspect of it. And I loved, loved, loved uh, the portrayal of Anne that they brought to it because it's, it's it's a true portrayal. If you read the diary, that's the way she is. She's very, you know, feisty and opinionated and, and, and strong. And it's shown, that is shown through the writing, which I'm very, very glad about because that's my, that's my Anne. I mean, that's who I, how I wanted to portray her and how I, how I wanted to do it because, well, you know, I wanted to bring her truth to her and not a facade that some people might think she is. So auditioning for Margot, then you had to transition into thinking in Anne's perspective. How much did you know about Anne Frank before getting the role? You know, not a lot. Seriously, not a lot. I, uh, in my education system, we never got given the diary. And we touched, obviously, went on World War II, but we never really touched upon Anne. And so during the audition process, I decided to start reading the diary because I loved the scripts and just wanted to be a part of it. So um, I read her diary I also audio booked it and I got my mom to read it to me. So I had three different versions of like processing what was going on. So I could just get it as quickly as I could. Um, so that's really when I started to know about Anne and, and to know her, because at first I thought she was a really shy and reserved girl who is really not her. She is the complete, complete, complete opposite. Uh, I mean, she she's strong I mean I just love it her fieriness is probably my my favorite part of her and reading the diary my I was eyes wide open when reading it because it was just not what I expected and it made me fall in love with her a lot more and it's a lot more relatable as well because I mean she is this this teenager and all teenagers you know go through those phases of being like that and I mean I just loved it and then my research for her went hand in hand with the writing So it just, it was a very nice and easy process for the characters because my research and how they portrayed her were the same. So it was, it was nice to, to feel that and be able to get into a scene with the research that I've done prior and and not to change anything to a facade that people might think she is, how I thought she was. I mean, I did think she was a shy uh, reserve girl, which is really not who she was. And I'm glad that a small light is portraying her truth. You portray that really well. We see who Anne Frank was, especially based on your description. Um, So I'm aging myself a bit here. I read it about 20 years ago in grade school, but it wasn't something that I fully comprehended and understand it at that age. But now seeing it here and in a show, it's something people can understand better as getting older. What do you think resonates most with her story with society? Well, I definitely do agree when you're older and reading it, it's a complete different story because you have a grasp on who she is and that she was 13 and what she was going through at a younger age, you know, definitely if you're doing it in school, people have this, yeah. this feeling towards school and not wanting to do work. So, you know, if a diary comes, you, you don't really want to read it, but definitely when you're older, I think it's a lot more useful to go through and, and to read. Um, for today's society, I think it is useful. I, her diary anybody can relate to at any age that's the thing because her writing is so good and it doesn't feel like a 13 year old girl's diary it feels like something that you can properly read and properly 
get to know and understand and relate to. I mean, for me, what I took away from it, and I think other people have taken away from it as well, is that she put her hope in, you know, these dark times into her diary. I mean, this was her her escape and it was her her outside was her diary. And for me, that was something truly special because it it allowed me to think, you know, anytime I'm going through a rough time or somebody else is going through a rough time, you just have to find something that's giving you a slight bit of hope. And you've got to put your full attention onto it and try to do it every single day and make it bigger. And that's what she did. I mean, well, every single day or most days, you know, she went to a diary and she wrote and that was her escape from her family, her escape from being in the annex. And it allowed her to be free and allowed her to do what she wanted to do because she wanted to become a writer. And for her, that was her hope. And she just made that her every day and she made that her life during those times. And, it, you know, it gives this sense of relief and this sense of freedom, which I really hope other people now at an older age as well can see. I mean, if you're going through a tough time, you know, find your hope and find how you can make that an everyday thing. Because her hope was also Meep and she saw her, you know, every day. And I think it's just important you can do that. You can find it in anything. I mean, Anne found it in an, an object, her diary, also into a person, you know. Meep found her hope within herself. She she found her hope and then she spread it to the Frank family to, to, to hide them and to save them, you know. So I really hope that's what people could take out of Anne's diary. It's really important. Mm -hmm. And it's such a tragic ending. We know Anne Frank's, how what happened to Anne Frank, but there's also a glimp, glimpse of hope with Meep and Otto bringing her diary back and getting it published. What And that's played by Leah Schreiber and Bill Powley. What was it like working with them? Oh, I loved it. Honestly, I loved it. I mean, both of them are amazing. I had amazing scenes with both of them. Um, I mean, Belle, truly incredible. She's worked so, so, so hard for this. And you can really tell that she has. Um, I mean, she's put her blood into Meep and, and she's trying to, she's trying, you know, portray her, which hasn't been done before. And I think she's done an incredible job and she's so so nice to get on with she's incredible I mean I can't I can't say that enough and truly a nice person at heart I mean you can't get somebody that's kinder and when I first came onto set we had these like two weeks of pre-production so before we started filming and she would take Ashley and I out uh, Ashley and I out on like lunch dates and we would chat all the time and just go out in Prague and walk around I mean she was so so amazing and for me I felt the same relationship as I had, as Anne had with Meep, you know, she was like this older friend and older sister in a way that it's just, it's a different relationship and it, it was really incredible. And Liev was amazing too. I mean, he holds so much respect. He's an incredible actor. I mean, watching him work, I was just like, even within a scene when the camera wasn't on me, I would just look at him and go, wow, that, you're good, you know, you're good. <laughs> I, I've, I've learned a lot from him. I have learned a lot from him. And just looking at him work, is, it, 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 it goes back to you and it makes you change the way that you work within a scene because you think, oh, I like what he's done there. Let's see how I can incorporate that into my scenes if, I, if that helps me rehearse my scenes before actually doing it. I mean, both of them equally incredible. I mean, the whole cast was amazing. We all got on extremely well. And the showrunners as well, we always went out together. It was it was a lovely, lovely experience. It seems like a great experience. The whole family seems all put together. Truly a star-making performance. Thank you so much, Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Make sure you watch A Small Light on National Geographic Monday, streaming the next day on Disney Plus and Hulu. Thanks. Thank you.